on YouTube, Ardap Dan here. Today we are focusing on what questions you should be asking a prison consultant prior to making that final decision on who you're gonna hire. Make sure you stay tuned for this video. This is one you definitely do not wanna miss. All right, guys, welcome back. We're gonna jump right into this topic. What questions should you be asking a prison consultant before making your final decision on who you're going to hire? The best way we thought we could relay this information to you is to explain to you what it is that we do with our clients to give you some sort of a basis to go off of. When a client comes to us, we determine what point in the process they're at. Ideally, the best time to employ a prison consultant is prior to your pre-sentence report. Once you take your plea, shortly after that, you're gonna be doing your pre-sentence report, your PSR. During this report, this is when you wanna have your personal narrative finished. You wanna have your personal narrative prepared and ready to submit to the US probation officer that is doing your report. The PSR ultimately is gonna be a recommendation to the judge from US probation deciding how much time they think the judge should actually give you. With a well-executed personal narrative submitted with your pre-sentence report, it's gonna give the US probation officer more information based on who you are other than just the person that made this bad decision that's possibly gonna land you in federal prison. Giving them this information about your past, what your mind frame was, what led you to do your crime, how you're taking accountability, how you've identified your victims. If this is done properly and it's showing that you're actually taking real responsibility, this can impact and influence the type of sentence that U.S. probation feels you deserve. And this is information they're going to pass on to the judge. So the first question you're going to want to ask your prison consultant once you get your list of services is, are you going to help me with a personal narrative? And if they say yes, what does that mean? What we do with our clients is we give you a basis, we give you samples of personal narratives of past clients that have allowed us to use their information, then you're going to write your personal narrative. Once you've finished your personal narrative, you're gonna send it to us for review. We're gonna go in and make edits and recommendations based on what we think should be changed for the audience that's gonna be reviewing the personal narrative, which in this case, more than likely is going to be the judge. Once we make those recommendations and edits, we send it back to you for final approval. Once it's approved, this is going to be the narrative that is submitted to the U.S. probation officer that is preparing your PSR. We're also going to assist you with your character reference letters. Again, we're going to give you samples of character reference letters from past clients. You're going to take these character reference letters. You're going to provide them to your friends and family that you've decided who is going to help you write these character reference letters. Once they're written, they are gonna come back to us. Again, we're gonna go in and make edits and recommendations, send them back to you for final approval. This process, when done right, can create continuity showing that your personal narrative and your character reference letters are all in line with what you've been saying all along. If you're taking responsibility and you're taking ownership for what it is that you've done, it needs to be displayed and explained in your personal narratives. It also needs to be explained in the character reference letters coming from your friends and family. They need to identify how this has affected them, what your choices have done to them. They need to identify themselves as victims and not just say great things about you. This is where we come in and we really specialize in making sure this is done right. Other things that you're gonna to wanna to ask a prison consultant, are they going to give you recommendations for what you should be doing with your day to day? Obviously, hopefully you're maintaining a job, but what are you doing above and beyond that? Are you building your mentor network? Are you emailing your mentor network on a weekly basis with updates? Are you putting in community service? Are you putting time and effort in with AA or NA? If you plan on getting into the residential drug addiction program and telling the court system that you have an addiction problem, but you're not putting time and effort into AA or NA because you don't think it's going to matter, every single thing that you potentially do right now can weigh in on the final outcome at that day of sentencing. You want to ask the potential prison consultant, do they understand how RDAP works? What is their basis on RDAP? Did they actually go through it themselves? Did they complete it? We explain this to our clients. I did RDAP myself. I was given 12 months off for the program. I then was given six months federal halfway house. We went in through the appeal process, requested additional halfway house, and we were able to get up to 11 months of federal halfway house. Between good time, RDAP, and halfway house, I was able to knock more than two years off 
of a 42 month sentence. These are the type of situations that we try to put our clients into. We've also helped clients just recently. We've got a client by the name of Troy Sissom who entered into the system, did not have any substantial information in his pre-sentence report explaining his substance abuse. He got into prison, tried to get into RDAP, was completely denied. We then employed a chemical dependency professional to create an honest evaluation on the client's substance abuse dating back to when the client actually had the abuse problem. Because this information was documented properly, we submitted information to the client while they were in prison where they had to fill out an actual evaluation, interviewed with the chemical dependency expert, submitted this valuation to RDAP and to Grand Prairie, Texas, where RDAP is coordinated out of, we were able to get the decision overturned to allow this client to enter into the program. So if you are in that situation where you've already gone through your pre-sentence report, these are some methods that have worked that we can show you with other clients. Why are we different than the average prison consultant? I don't know. I don't know what makes us so different, but we are. And I can tell you, when I started doing this, it was never for the intent of creating a business. Those of you that have watched my first videos, and if you haven't watched my first videos, go back to when I first started this YouTube channel. And what you're gonna find is you're gonna find a guy that just got out of prison, that went through the system, that had tons of questions from people just like you posting comments on that very first video that I posted about me going to federal prison. I realized there were so many people just like me that had the same questions and concerns about federal prison, and I enjoyed putting this information out there. I enjoyed being able to help somebody understand that federal prison is not the end of the road. A prison consultant should also be looked at as a life coach. This is somebody that you should be able to call at two in the morning when you're freaking out and you can't sleep and you got anxiety ridden all over you. When you're having those moments of stress, This is when a prison consultant should be able to explain to you what it is that you need to be doing right now. We're not always going to tell you what you want to hear, but the right prison consultant should be telling you what you need to hear. Here at Federal Prison Time, we take pride in making sure that our clients get the attention that they need. We take pride in making sure that we've gone above and beyond what everybody else in the industry is doing. The other huge factor that you want to consider is price. Several prison consultants are charging anywhere from $3,500 up to $15,000. What are you getting for that amount of money? I can tell you that everything that we do is above and beyond what the average prison consultant is doing, and we're doing it for a flat fee of $1,500. So if we can be doing all of this for such a reduced price, how is every other prison consultant justifying the amount of money that they're charging? I can tell you how, and I can tell you why they do it. They are focusing on white collar criminals only with the mindset that a white collar criminal can afford these absorbent fees because they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on legal fees. What's another ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a prison consultant that might be able to help you reduce your prison sentence? We have the best writers in the industry. This is all that we do. And we're able to do it for a fraction of what everybody else is charging. I strongly urge you to do your homework. Check out the reason why we're number one prison consulting on YouTube. You're also going to want to ask the potential prison consultant for maybe a list of referrals. Referrals are going to allow you to talk to past clients that have used their service and give you honest feedback from a non-biased position. When we give you our referrals, you're going to be talking to people that received probation. You're going to be talking to people that received reduced sentences. You're going to be talking to people that had cases dismissed. You're going to be talking to people that that were originally denied for RDAP once they landed in prison, that because of what we were able to do, our services were able to help them get into RDAP. These are the type of things that we are able to do. We're able to do this with actual work, effort, and research. Everybody involved with Federal Prison Time Consulting, LLC, has to have one common concern. That concern is helping the client. Above everything else, our main concern is to give you the peace of mind, help you reduce your anxiety, and put you into a much better situation than you're currently in right now. There's a reason why we're invited back to the Federal Halfway House to talk to guys about positivity and hard work and effort and how that can pay off in the end. 
Many of you have attorneys and you feel like you're not getting what it is you paid for. What you're failing to understand is that you have to be willing to put in hard work and effort to get the results. We are going to give you the roadmap to success. It's going to be your job to follow it. I'm R. Dan with Federal Prison Time Consulting, LLC. We take pride in what we do, one day at a time, people helping people, community is method. Have a great day.